This is the world of Naruto, where 100 players will be trapped in trying to survive. The world is filled with Shinobi, the Akatsuki, and even the Tailed Beasts. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I got on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. Get comfortable, grab some snacks, and this is the 100 player Naruto simulation. Our story begins within three main villages, the leaf, the sand, and the cloud. Let's get you guys accustomed. Firstly, the hidden leaf village exceeds in terms of food and resources, like wood and supplies. Most of the players, which we'll be calling Shinobi, Nobi, by the way, that began here went straight to looting the chest and the houses nearby. You menaces. There's also the hidden sand village who was stuck in a barren desert and had lower amounts of food and resources, but they did have an abundance of gold and iron. The shinobi that ended up here ended up scraping the few pieces of wood that they even found around the place. Lastly, there's the hidden cloud village, which exceeds in diamond rates and levels, and also forbidden jutsus, but they don't know that yet. This begins phase one. Preparation. Shinobi are to prepare for the Hokage elections, where they elect one person to represent their entire village, advance their jutsus, and prepare for the tuning exams that are gonna start one hour from now. Notable places here that can give them forbidden jutsus, which you would want to get before anyone else does, is the pyramids, Orichimaru's lair, which is home to a banished shinobi, and lastly, the cloud temple. Every hidden village here in this world has a place known as the ramen shop, which is where they can actually buy gear, jutsus, and everything they need to even start their ninja journeys, which a lot of people just end up ignoring because they're ungrateful pieces of sh Before any of the shinobi had a chance to do much, their villages were under attack by rogue shinobi, so a fight broke loose in front of every village. But if you ask me, it just kind of sounds like organized crime. First, we'll check out how the head and leaf is dealing with this attack. After the shinobi got a few weapons, they began to charge the front gates to take out the rogues like a rat my mom boiled yesterday in a bathtub. There were quite a few of these rogue shinobis too, but they ended up coming up with an interesting strategy to take them out. Yo, fight back! That's what I'm Let's saying! Go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! There's so many more! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. We, oh, okay. Yeah, we got a ping pong them. What the? Somebody just used a jutsu. This is Oweka and Zanes, the guy in the Naruto skins, and this is where they began to join forces. Just when I thought things were going really smoothly, someone managed to somehow dupe a bunch of shurikens. 15 minutes remain till the elections begin. As you can see, this place I'm in right now is Orichimaru's secret base. I didn't think it would be this close to the village though. There's probably a few forbidden jutsus that are in there that some shinobi probably snacked. Is this concerning? Nah, it'll be fine. I hope. Moving on to the hidden sand, they are dealing with a bit more than just rogue shinobis. They've got poisonous scorpions, sand demons, and all sorts of things. I mean, it kind of figures. They decided to base near a pyramid. I wouldn't be surprised if a gopher kidnapped you and fed you to worms here. At this point, they only really know basic jutsu, and in order to advance in this, they have to level up by defeating some enemies and purchasing the jutsu from the ramen shop. Again, why it's in the ramen shop, I don't really know, but that's their place to go. They have forsaken us. They've sent scorpions. Yeah, yeah, the scorpions are no laughing matter. And lastly, it was the hidden cloud, who out of all the teams were pretty much left really badly off. Barely any trees, barely any resources. It was pretty much rough for them. How you like in the cloud village? It's, uh, you know, it's a little, uh, it's, it's cool, actually. Yeah, but there's not many supplies, bro. Look at, look at the ground. I know. But they were also the least hostile out of the bunch. They simply shared all their resources and stuff, but one thing did end up catching my eye. There was someone in an Akatsuki skin. I'm keeping an eye on you you suspicious looking duck. Besides the lack of help and resources, they kept their hopes up. At least there was pretty eagles in the sky in the area, right? That, that, that's a plus. Oh, I almost forgot. They were under attack too, but not many noticed. Some sand shinobi decided to test out their RNG rates and began to head into the mines to gear up. They're also mining right underneath the Hokage's building. I don't really know if this will get them kicked out or not, but I don't think that's really good to do. Some of the leaf during this were also sharing around their gear as as well to their teammates of course and huge amounts of iron was given out to them this is where the first powerful jutsu was purchased by zanes i'm gonna just call him naruto at this point because he's got the skin for it look yeah I have whoa wait how he's over here that? yeah yeah i learned the jutsu damn right, i learned the jutsu boruto oh, stream jutsu. what the heck <laughs> <laughs> this thing is crazy. Bro, has a Naruto skin using Boruto's move. 
Hey, 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 uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually Naruto's uh, twice removed second cousin, so. What the hell? Uh, so this guy's trying to be Naruto, but he ended up learning Boruto's Jutsu. Yeah, that seems about right. I decided to give Zane's the Rasengan. No, get it. Oh, let's Yo. go. Oh my God, I have the Rasengan, guys. Watch, That's watch. That's a lap <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Weka requests some coins from me, but I tell him that he needs a sacrifice. Blood needs to be shed. Oh, I need one more level. Wait. Dude, I lost like a level or something. What the heck? Give me a sacrifice. Dude, oh my sacrifice. god. Dude, I'm asking for like six coins and you want me to kill somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of going to that extreme, I gave Weka and Zanes the option to take a mission if they really wanted coins. They decided to accept one. The mission was for them to visit the Hidden Cloud and negotiate trade between the Hidden Cloud and the Hidden Leaf. Zanes and Aweka packed their things up and began to walk over to the Hidden Cloud. They ended up at the Hidden Cloud. I'm surprised they didn't get lost, to be honest. Not before long, the Hidden Cloud locals ended up spotting them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay chill. Come, come with us, come with us. All right, come here. Uh, no, absolutely yes, not. Yes, my yes, yes, have a business proposition. We're, we're friendly, we're buddy. Not well, yeah, we're here on behalf of the Hidden Leaf. We don't want to bring attention to us. We get your friends out of here. Look, we're just trying to make a deal with the cloud, okay? Come How do we get in here? Hey, just follow me, follow me. This is a trap. Don't follow the message. It's not a Only trap. Only one of you. Only one of you. This is official business proposition on behalf of the Leaf and Cloud. Get out of here, bro. Oh, get. damn. I got shurikens. Skedaddle. He has Skedaddle. He has shurikens. He can protect himself. More, yeah, you know what? Fine. Screw you guys. We don't, we don't want to make a deal. Okay. So basically, they didn't want to attract any extra attention since they wanted to stay clean during these times and not fall out into war. They ended up finding someone in the cloud willing to hear them out, but someone else came by with dual blades and put a stop to their deal. Look at Kirito being overprotective. They were failing hard on this ninja mission of theirs. This was pretty much going nowhere. They were on the verge of giving up. So the cloud were very suspicious on Aweka and Zanes and chased them as they fled back to their village. Village. I don't even know how to get back to our village. <laughs> we are lost in a foreign land. Dude, they're following us. Oh my god. They decided to, instead of going against the hidden cloud, they wanted to meet their leader, which at this moment was the only main faction here. It was Mellows. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what? Yeah, it's, it's, hey, hey. Hey, yo, hey, yo, take, hey, us, take us to, us to Mellow. Hey, take, take us, us to your leader. leader. No, take yes, us to yes, yes. It doesn't matter. We're going anyways. Wait, we're we're, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. Since they were shinobi, they also picked up on the ability to walk on water from the Hidden Cloud Village while they were there. They also began to purchase some jutsu from the Hidden Cloud that they weren't supposed to really have, but they purchased it from Killer B, their merchant. They then decided to mess with someone graves. These guys are just not good people. The Cloud's current leader, nowhere to be found though. That's because he was lost in the mines during this time, but did end up trading a bit, which meant that the leader and the cloud were in a temporary alliance for trade. Then after a long mission, they found their way back home and got their coins that they deserved and began to shop. Not too soon after began the Hokage elections for each village. In simple terms, that just means that each village gets one leader to vote on. The official titles were the Hokage in the leaf, Kazekage in the sand, and Raikage in the cloud. Remember that because that's what I'll be calling them. We begin here in the leaf, voting to who becomes a Hokage here. Our choices are Oweka, Zane's Diamond Verse and Milk. Yeah, the dude's name is Milk. They all gave speeches on why they would be voted. The reason I want to be a Hokage is because Oweka's old news. We need a new one. He's old. Oh, shut up. Ooh. I agree, bro. <laughs> we need, we need someone new. Hello, uh, I am Diamond Verse. There are threats to our borders. Treachery of the uh, current leadership that will be elected in the Sand the Clan. Eok is going to be the leader of the Sand Clan, and uh, he will helps. kill all of us if we are uh, not strong. By uh, the way, Oweka, you're definitely uh, second in command if I die because you un actually understand military stuff. You actually know the choices a leader no, must to make and no. so do <laughs> I. <laughs> yes, I make it. He can pick up food look by himself. Man. Look at this guy and tell me that he understands leadership. Look, look him in, in the eyes <laughs> and tell me he understands leadership. <laughs> I've seen him kill two people before at gunpoint for ammo. So, hey, yo, yo, yo. Actually, he's asked for everything. Yeah, I'm two thousand. Oh. I've run hey, a country. Hey, I've run ten Thank countries, you. and I can run this one as well as anyone else. Thanks, you're next. All right, what up, y'all? Let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Zanzi Uzumaki, Zane. and I'm actually Naruto's uh, twice removed second step dog sister's neighbor's cousin third uncle. I do have that Uzumaki bloodline. Yo, show me your Rasengan. Look, you see this in my hands right here. It's ultimate power. It's the Rasengan. A jutsu taught to me by the god. I don't want to say what I think that looks like, but I don't think that's a Rasengan. Don't look at it too long. Why do you have a lun in your hand? 
<laughs> it's a Rosé gun. <laughs> so I think y'all should vote me as the Hokage. Well, stop speaking, Diamond. I have that Uzumaki <laughs> bloodline in me. So a vote for me is a vote for Naruto's second, third Woo! cousin, dog cousin. All right, everyone, look, listen up. Oh, what's that smell? Let me take off my clothes to get warm. Oh boy. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> pu. So I will smell? show this this clan. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look at my Naruto. <laughs> Everyone was pretty much just yapping around. Milk, like you was just hating hey, on me. Hey, like, no like, I'll make, I'll make you the Amu Black Ops leader, though. Huh? You, yes, you do. Uh, you play League of Legends. You play League of Legends. You stick more than me. After everything, Zane's was elected as the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. He was also taught the Rasengan as a special technique. Moving on to the elections hosted in the Hidden Sand, Eopoke was getting attacked by a Hidden Leaf Shinobi that snuck into the election room. Anywho, these are our options. Eopo, Kuro, and Salvo. If you vote for me, I will eradicate the homeless population. They'll all be dead. Every last one. I've only been alive. That means we don't have to build any homes. No more homes. Nothing like that. that that'll save a lot of resources, you know? Salvo guy, he stole all my iron at the side of the server. You really want to rob her as your leader? Look at him. I bet he robbed that diamond chest by him. Free cobblestone for everyone. Got that. You um, just copied me. What else? What else? I'm taking that. Offer? I can offer free stacks of bamboo. I'm yes. just him. I'm him. Who is this fellow? Well, this is just in shambles, isn't it? Who would want to vote for any of these guys? Give my reason for why I should be. Okay. Um, I'm here to say all you people, everyone watching, everyone listening all around this world, this is the reason why I should not be the Kazakage of this sand village. I'm a fraud. I do not know how to lead people, but people like him should not be our leader because they'll only lead our country into turmoil. Wow. The confidence in the hidden sand village right now is quite something. Long story short, Eopoke was the one elected to become Kaze Kage of the Hidden Sand. He was also given the Sharingan as his unique technique. Lastly, the Hidden Cloud. We ran the elections for Rai Kage. This time in a fancy looking table. The options we got ourselves here was Mystery, Zay, Stevo, and Mello. Let's hope this one's a little bit more civilized than the last one was. We as a nation need to stick together. And I as a candidate, no matter who the leader is, we shall stick together and not separate during war. Brothers, sisters of the Cloud village i feel that i am the strongest person to be in this position i can bring us to win the war against the other two villages and i am confident that the rest of you will make the correct choice for i have identified dna for one person who votes for me i need to get that what? Wait a minute. Uh, I did not do anything fishy for this DNA. I did not kill anyone and kidnap into my, my basement. I, I will make you into a genetic monster on the battlefield, of course. Hey, yo. Seen me. I can make alliances with other groups, and I'm the person to unite us. We shouldn't have any animosity. So, I'm the strongest one here, of course, in grinding. Debatable. Uh, I can could, I could demonstrate if you want. Oh, hey, oh, do not kill me, dog. Kill no, me. no, 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 no he's attacking other cloud villagers. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I was demonstrating. Yo, attempted attempt assassination is right. crazy. So, bro, I'll, it, that is treason. And at the very end, Mello was the one that got voted as Kaze Kage of the Hidden Cloud Village. Mello was also given the Chidori. And these are the selected Hokage, Kaze Kage, and Rai Kage. Zanes, Eopoke, and Mello. Each of these village leaders will be able to select Shinobi to have as their guards. And these are known as Anbu Black Ops. 30 minutes remain until they have to run the Chunin exams, which ends up testing our Shinobi. And the winners of those exams will receive advanced jutsu fit for war or any mission that they have to ever take on. I decided to check up on Zanes of the Leaf Village, and he actually wanted to take one of the most difficult missions in order to get filthy rich. They wanted the money. This would put their village ranking at the very top. The mission they took on required them to kidnap the most vile San Shinobi known as Jenny B. She was out there creating a church of reanimation, which the higher ups were worried about since it's a forbidden jutsu. And this begins the official mission to kidnapping. The Hokage and the two Anbu Black Ops Aweka and Milk head out to locate the Sand Village's whereabouts. The Sand, on the other hand, were going through turmoil of their own. It was a mess of a leadership and making sure that the front of their village doesn't get overtaken by some of the rogue shinobi. Fire was also everywhere in this place, too. After a long journey, they followed a path that led them all the way to the hidden Sand Village. They had to be smart about this. This was enemy territory. If you remember the election, Eopoke was attacked by a hidden leaf shinobi scout. So they weren't on good terms to even begin with. Yo, what? You so guys what? Hear that? They might have some powerful dudes. Guys, we gotta we gotta approach this with like peace. Is that a tail beast, bro? Dude, we get like <laughs> these NPCs. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Yeah, we got, we you. got, we got you, you. We got you, bro. 
Look Why is the leaf so screwed over, bro? So they got a little bit distracted, but that's normal. Everyone gets distracted by things every once in a while. They thought the leaf had it bad, but they took advantage of the fact that they had enormous amounts of food and low amounts of attack since they were hidden deep within the forest. But hey, you know what? Sometimes you don't know how good you got it. Milo, hey Milo, we're here to negotiate peace. I'm the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf. Can you uh, take us to Eok, please? It's me, the like... Hokage. Yeah, Eok your leader. Kind of gone. Your leader's gone? Okay, where's yeah. do, you, do you know a player by the name of... Uh, we're doing a, a base building competition, and Adrian yeah. specifically asked it's for good. one person to come rate our base for some reason. They are capping out of their minds right now. No shot he gets away with this stupid build competition excuse. Right? Their name's I can Jenny. do it. I can do it. You could probably you check inside of the village. Hey, hey, Nebula, do you know where Jenny is? And you guys so act like as our, like, ambassador, though, like, and take us into the village. They now have Nindo, an escort showing the hidden leaf around, and is taking them inside of the sand village, giving the leaf a perfect opportunity to kidnap Jenny. We have the beautiful, beautiful village right here. This is not. Nice. You know, we built nice. all of this, by the way. There we got the little church. We have a little cult going on. Oh, okay. Um, oh. This is very nice. We can not talk. Hello. We can not I'm one of the This is very nice. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I like, I like the Do any of y'all know where a person by the name Jenny is? We're looking no. for Jenny. From the Jenny, Jenny mod? Right, right there. No, the Jenny mod? Right there, right there. Jenny, 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 Jenny is gonna come. Jenny is right behind you, sir. Jenny competition. Just when they found her, someone from the sand tried to assassinate the Leafs Hokage. Oh, God. Ended up failing though, but they seemed to fall back after trying to attack him. But at the very least, they found their victim. Now they need to go get her isolated from the sand of village citizens. We're, we're doing uh, a base building competition for the. Yeah. Are you team. just oh, doing and, and Adrian's oh, asked for you to do the to, to rate our base for some reason. Okay. So we have, yeah, yeah, we have yeah, to yeah. come get you. You need to come with us. So now you have to come back to leave. We're gonna take you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Hokage, but I have I have to go with. We only need Jenny. No, I already I already ran this past the Mitsukage. He said it was good at the Hokage Council or the Hokage Summit. Yeah, come with us. This is my you know, fellow saints. That's fine. Right, you know what, both fine, of you fine. come with us. Both, both. Well, 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 well. So they seem to have gotten one step closer to Jenny and Ronin, but they also ended up being inseparable since they both ran the Church of Reanimation together. I know, I know. I'll figure it out. But as time passed, more and more sand citizens left to do their own thing. This is when things took a horrible turn for the mission. The Kazukage ended up returning from his mission ending back at the sand village to see Oweka and Zanes trying to take out one of his citizens into the leaf village. Eopoke has the most power and influence right now because he has the most shinobi out of all three nations. He's, back. He's at the front. Oh. Okay. If you want to speak right, to me, let's, let's, let's go speak to I'll, I'll let him know what's going on. Hello? Hello, Hello. what's up? I'm gonna kiss Yo, you. Hey. Hey, the Just Rizla. a good game. Right. Right. Thank you so much. You look like a good man. You look like a good man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know Hokage had Riz, goddamn. <laughs> Jenny began to stray away from Oweka and Zane's, since now she's kind of suspicious on what they're up to. But somehow, Zane's and Oweka managed to swindle their way out of this one too, and got permission from the Kazukage himself to take Jenny temporarily. That's when it hits them. Where did Jenny go off to? All right, where, where, where's from? Jenny? Jenny where, where'd she go? Can you grab Jenny? Yeah, I can grab Gina real quick, my religious partner. Thank you so much. Oh. Really, really appreciate it. Ronin and the Sand offered to get Jenny for Oweka and Zane's, not knowing that he was playing right into the palm of their hands. Kidnappers. Yeah. She was found fleeing to the center of the sand village, and Ronan convinced her to head back. Once we can get out of here. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm going with. If you do not hear back from us, Kage, we, uh, yeah. Their suspicions were in the right place, but will they manage to really prevent it from happening? Only time will tell. I'm a little bit untrustful, but okay. Yeah, it was really out of the blue. I don't know why it was like, it's it's apparently they're doing it for all villages, so. Is there and, a reason that and, it has yeah, to be me? I have no idea. My build isn't even finished. <laughs> I save you, child. I, you have a giant sword. I'm sorry. Okay. It seems they were under some hot water with the attention they've got around the kidnapping. No one, please follow. You were the one being protected the whole time. Really suspicious. Oh. I right. brought Ginny. Alrighty. All right. All right, let's go, Ginny. Oh, Gina. No, 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 guys, you do realize okay. it seems like you're trying to kidnap Ginny. We're only taking two. We're only taking only two people. Taking yeah, Jesus. we're taking we're only, we're Yeah, taking we're taking Jesus. Ginny Roman. and Ronan. That's it. Oh, Ronan and Gina. Ronan and Gina. Do not cause any Where's trouble. We want to have a good piece of them.
Yeah. Yeah. How does your economy oh. work? Come on. Um, I just, I our economy, our economy on taxes, works terribly. Yeah. 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 We just scam people to the, the village. The reason she's even asking about the economy is because there's a major flaw in the economic system in the ninja world. So to keep this simple, any creature or shinobi you kill drops coins. Three types of them too. Besides the killing method, there was another way. Copper. It was dropped by almost all of the creatures here in the sand. If you take nine copper coins, it makes one silver coin. Take nine silver coins and you could craft one gold coin. Then if you take those coins and sell it for more coins from the shop, it creates infinite coins. This was game breaking. That's how the sand became the most powerful village as of right now, holding the most jutsu and the most diversified amounts of them. Okay, well, the further they go away from the sand village, the less and less that follow. And now all that remains is Ronin and Ginny. Milk tries convincing Ronin to skedaddle, but it's been quite a hard time convincing him. So they push forward. The best way I can explain what's going on right now is Oweka told them that this is a transportation jutsu that requires them to trap themselves in obsidian. That was a lie. It was the fact that these two have never watched Naruto in their lives, making them susceptible to this really stupid jutsu. But whatever, you know what? It's working. Kind of like when your parents ask you to hide in the stove. Ronan and Jenny, we needed we needed Jenny alone. So I'm 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 sorry. I'm sorry, Ronan. Ronan, I'm sorry it had to be like this, but we just needed Jenny. All right. So oh. we're we're gonna we're gonna go. Let me see yeah, at least, leave. bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sorry, it's budget cuts. We had to, we had we got to take away your vision. Follow us, Jenny. All right, come on, Jenny. I'll start screaming the bad word. <laughs> What's the bad part? Uh, you Jenny, don't want to know. And another victim of Oweka and Zane's trickery. They continue onwards back to the leaf without Ronin. For context, I hosted a 100 player Demon Slayer Civilization before, and Oweka used the same excuse that we needed a judge that I requested to judge the bases that everyone built. Dude, it's so funny because in the Demon oh. Slayer video, yeah, I, no, did the I saw it. I was just the same excuse. Dude, I literally whispered <laughs> under my breath. I don't know if it was show up in my recording, but I was like, Dude, this again. <laughs> Dude, yeah. So it's crazy how he even managed to do this again. He's just deceiving people left and right. To the, the, Hoke, yeah, the Hokage so offices. Front. Welcome yeah. to the Leap Village. Not as nice as uh, the Sand Village. <laughs> hey, so hey, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Hey, I, 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 I thought I told y'all to clean up around here. What, what's going on? We have guests. We have guests. We have guests. We have guests. Quite yes, the village yes. you guys have here. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Keep you walking. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Hey, it's fine, Oweka, it's fine. Oweka, treat it. Are you sure right. this is a guest uh, and not a hostage? Yes, no, 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 yeah, they're a guest. They're a guest. They're a guest. Right. You know, I get a little. Just, just uh, you know, a, I don't know. spoken to, okay? The Hokage played this off as if Jenny was the Sand Village's ambassador. They brought her back to the Hokage's office. Yeah, blowing nice. homeless boy. Go, go farm up some coins. That's uh, Hokage's orders. All right. Taxes oh, are I, gonna I, be I, due I, soon. All right. Well, then at least clean up this fire, Dad Gummit. So let's take her up to my office. We'll have a talk. I know, I know my way around here. I'm the Hokage. You hear that? Jenny, he's the Hokage. Yeah, very okay, okay. You see, this, this is my Rasengan. God. Here, very, very powerful. Here, you can oh, have one. Oh, I see. And caged her in a cell. A leaf shinobi broke in. They exiled him in exchange for a shadow clone jutsu. When things were looking in the favor of the hidden leaf village with their mission completed, them being one of the richest nations, there was someone breaking in as they spoke. Someone was mining behind Jenny and broke her out and she ran for her life. It was this guy named Flo. Funny enough, Flo belong to the hidden leaf village so it's kind of confusing what's going on here the hidden leaf village was in a panic mode if the sand figured out that Ginny was kidnapped this would all have been for nothing flo ended up being exiled now belonging to no village whatsoever they chased after her to return her to a cage and now she's back at square one well this is a much smaller cage than the cage she was stuck in so technically speaking she kind of got knocked out of the middle class looking into the hidden cloud village at this time they were getting themselves some enchants i told you diamonds were increased here. Also, the Kazukage found out that Jenny was kidnapped. Yeah. This is when the Hidden Sand realized that the Hidden Leaf screwed them over with that mission of theirs. Was the techniques really worth the loss of an ally? Only time could really tell. Ew. Jean! Our builder! They kidnapped her. Ew, Jean. Who's Jean? Jean, our only builder! And a few Ew. others who are builders. But Who's Jean's Jean? been kidnapped. We need to oh, get yeah. her back. We, that was, they weren't kidnapped. They were borrowed. No, but 
but they stole yeah, her. They stole her. They broke the deal. Yeah, they're I'll keeping him. Do anything. They That's told him. I'm gonna have to talk to Zane. Let's go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. I got bloodlust. We'd be merely powerless to stop them though. They held obsidian. For the sand, it was rough. Not many supplies, difficult attacks, and now their own ally betraying them. They truly were alone. Let's go back to the Hidden Leaf Village though, because now it's time for the Hidden Leaf Village to host the annual tuning exams. It's not fair that only the Hokage get these cool advanced jutsu. So these exams will reward Sonobi with some of the jutsu that they cannot simply just buy with coins. This begins phase two, the tuning exams. Shinobi from all over the three different villages come together on a truce. 20 Shinobi from here will become Chunin, which grants them advanced techniques and better missions. The goal is simple. This is the forest of death. There are rogue Shinobi, snakes, and all sorts of creepy crawlies that can be found down in here. Survive past them and locate two different scrolls, whether it's the earth scroll or the air scroll. Once you have that covered, head to the red building to hand the scrolls in to find out if you made it to the first 20 to make it out of this place alive. A lot of shinobi ended up falling to the snakes and other rogues, but they prevailed quite a bit as well. It was a lot easier than some had hoped, which led to a huge amount of them managing to get past the tuning exams a lot faster. Just look at this mess. All the jutsu used in the area caused a lot of lag too, which led to quite a few deaths as well. Aweka and Zanes knew that they didn't need the tuning exams. They already did their mission, but we're still here regardless. They wanted to get some intel on the other team, so they stayed lurking. It seems Mellow from the Cloud had the same idea. Scout out the competition before making an educated move on them. And then the Kazukage met up with the Hokage once again, but it was not out of sheer malice. Eopoke wanted the advanced jutsu, and that was his main focus. Instead of confronting Zanes, which probably would have been a better idea for him, Zanes had come to realize that he was actually the one that was truly alone. The Cloud's temporary truce was there for trade, but the Kazukage and the Raikage were teaming in case of a war breaking loose. The Leaf, day by day, ended up losing more Shinobi, whether it's from the challenges or even just enemy nations. Zanes was truly the weakest link within the Shinobi world. Even Oweka was lost somewhere in the forest, so Zanes set out to the Hokage Summit, where he can talk to every Hokage all at once. While the exams were going on, someone was up to something mischievous. Jenny. You know the girl that got kidnapped? Yeah, she was actually here on a mission of her own with her little squad. She hated the way she was treated in the leaf and thought that the hidden sand, the one that she began with, was the most unorganized shinobi village ever. So she devised a plan. To sum it up, she wants to join Melo, the Raikage, since they seem to have the most neutral team, but also have tons of army power in case war breaks loose. She wanted to make her little church and preach to her believers and followers. They thought very hard about this decision and they needed to speak to Mello. Since Mello was still there in the tuning exams, they met up and requested to join Mello's team, but he was quite suspicious of this request. Pardon Welcome. me, sir. We're not here to kill you. We're here to make a deal. Bro, chill, we chill. Want to, we want yeah, to ask we're here to make a deal with you. I have some information about both sides of the clans. So I'm gonna go and see what what's happening sleep. is that Sand is very divided, not very strong. Leaf is a dictatorship and they're coming to kill both me and Ronin if I don't return back to them within 15 minutes on information about my own clan. And then my own clan's like, mm, maybe you should become a spy for us. So now I'm, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. But you guys seem the most at peace. Yeah, she was basically ordered to be a double agent at that very moment. Flo, the guy who saved Jenny when she was locked up in the Hidden Leaf Village, found her again in the tuning exams. Jenny, I'm back. Hey, man. I'm the person who saved you. Do you remember? Oh, you are! Wait, Wait oh, he's in the He's a felon of the leaf. Come, come, come. come I got exiled. Be this is us, crazy, be with us bro. To Cloud because I don't want to be with Sand and I don't want to be with still, Leaf. I'm a leader. Of course, Cloud is nice as hell. You feel me? We have religion. Me? Yeah, we have, we give you culture. How, how can I trust y'all? So why do, why does Sand over? hate you guys? I'm yellow. We don't want to be with them anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Good looking but it's out, all up to out. you, Mr. Miller. All I want to do is build a religious household. That's all we wanted, and then I got yoinked. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and I, this guy is trustworthy because he saved me. What He's makes you guys know? So after a bunch of consideration, Mello agreed to take these fugitives into the cloud. This would put the sand against them, since Mello stole some of their members, and the leaf would also be questioning how that even came to be in the first place. And this is their new home. They have now arrived at the hidden cloud, ready to build up their church from the ground up like they plan to do from the very get-go let's just hope nobody attacks them before that can happen let's check up on
knowing how the Leaf's doing, though. This is when he found out about Melo's choice to take Ginny and her group from the sand into the Hidden Cloud. Now, the Hidden Cloud is the most powerful nation out of all of them. Not to mention, Flo was part of Ginny's group now. And Flo is banished. So, it kind of hit Zane's a very weird way. Dude, what happened to your player count? I don't know, bro. We just lost, like, half our players. I don't know what's happening, bro. Yep. Do you know, like, it's, it's, is there, like, something going on that I don't know about? Like, we're severely outnumbered. Hey, yeah, you players. really are. She's supposed to be reporting to me every 15 minutes. I know she told me about it. Oh, my God. So she, yeah, I knew you kidnapped her. I was like... Since both teams uh, didn't want to accept her, she she went to Cloud. And you know All that right, you know dude. that guy you exiled? He joined Cloud, too. <laughs> I need, to, I need to confront Melo about this, bro. You can't just be taking in all my prisoners, bro. Oh, I need to have a meeting summit. with Eok, by the way. This then begins the Hokage Summit. One's missing, though, because he was up to something kind of random. Melo, we, we need to have a talk, man. I'm hearing... What? You know, who's Flo? You know Flo? Yeah, I do. He's, he's an outlaw of my nation. And you took oh, him in. Yeah, he, he said he wanted to join my nation, so I said sure. Yeah, that's I I, I don't I don't want to let that fly. So wait, what? You you, you got to kick that guy. That guy is an enemy. But he gave me stuff, so I, so I liked it. So you, you you just accept bribery over over our friendship that we have, Melo? <laughs> You, you, you're, Bro, called to a greater, you're called to a greater <laughs> responsibility as Bro, the Raikage. What did this homie do to make you so upset? Uh, confidential. I can't, I can't say what he did. Oh, okay. but it, it, it wasn't good. So yeah, this guy. And that and you Jenny, don't like. Jenny, what's up with that? Why, why are you taking her in? I had a thing going Dude, with 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 her. Oh, she was your. Oh, she not, left no, not, you. Not not like that. I, I'm sorry, not, bro. Not like that. No, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. No, not like that. Stop. Oh, stop. Shoot. Stop. My, stop. My fault, my We're fault. not even gonna let this joke continue. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just about to spill the beans, bro. I'm gonna clear my slate. Yeah, spill the beans. She was a spy in the sand for me, but I mean, you took her into the cloud. So what good does that do me now? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a good question. This was Zane's attempt to team up with Melo to go against Eopoke and destroy him once and for all. I I'll be real. The, the leaf has seen better days. If you go ahead and press tab for me. <laughs> um, we are in shambles a little bit. Uh, I'm so pressing tab. Oh boy. We we need a we need a we need an yeah. opportunity here to win something, and I think your village will get Melo. We need to discuss then our what's going on with our allies and stuff. You're I hear you're mm -hmm. allied with the sand. What's up with that? I'm allied with everybody. I don't got beef with not anybody. So what do you what do you plan to do when the war breaks out? Choose whatever side seems to uh, appeal. Hello. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know he's hitting. I know he's look hitting that sand. tab button right now. <laughs> look, look, look at the sand and tab right now. You yeah, see them? Yeah. They they quite honestly outnumber both of us. <laughs> they outnumber both of us. Uh, yeah, that's facts. All right, all right. And all, all it's going to take is after this little fight that y'all are going to like have on us, like when y'all team okay. against us, they're going to turn hey, on you guys. I never guys. said I was going to. Yeah, I think it's coming, yo, because I've done a lot of bad things to the sand that they haven't figured out yet. But once they do, I, I'm a dead man. So I think we should team together and fight the sand. What do, you th what do you say to that? I do hate some of the people on sand. Yeah, I don't have beef with them, but I don't want them alive anymore. So that's the thing. I mean, it seems to me like you're not really in the position to be, you know. What? Negotiating? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm the Hokage. Of course oh, I'm yeah. in the position to negotiate. Look hey, at my Rasengan. I'm the Hokage, but I'm shiny. Look, you're look, not. look at my Rasengan. Let that you see this? Look, look at my Rasengan. Look at my hand. I don't <laughs> see anything. I see lapis lazuli, bro. That's a saying gun. It's just a texture pack issue. Yeah, I'm very powerful. I'm probably a one-man army. Yeah, we probably could wipe sand together. That's what I'm but saying. I also have another card up my sleeve. I call it the O card, all right? The O card. I pull that out. This event ends in two seconds. Everyone is dead. He, he's he's on, he's on a training arc right now. He's uh, he's about Oweka? <laughs> Oweka? There is no well, way was, that's what the gonna, O card gonna, is. I, I was going to use code words for it, but he, he's currently he's currently in the, the Sage world. I don't know if you've ever watched Naruto, but he's in the, he's off in the Toad world learning uh, Sage Oh, world. yeah. Super Mario. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. After a very long Hokage summit, they finally come to officially unite the Leaf and the Cloud to take the sand down. Both the Leaf and the Cloud leaders explain to their people that they are now allied and need to work together to take out the sand once and for all. The sand at this time is working on some scout bases outside of their very own village, preparing since they think that they are not alone. They were still under the impression that Melo was still teamed with them, and oh my gosh, could they have been 
any more wrong. They truly have been left out to rot. And before they knew it, it began phase three, Barrage. The Akatsuki ended up attacking all three of these villages. All ninja that were around began to fight the outsiders that were trying to assassinate their very own Hokages. The Akatsuki, for those that don't know, is a criminal organization that wants the world to pretty much come to an end. First, it was the Leaf and the Cloud. They put up a pretty good fight though, and they noticed them pretty early on. During this mess, there was also an assassination attempt by one of the players on the Hokage and Oweka's team. They were trapped in a dimensional portal that can only be created by someone that has the Renegon, a really powerful eye and technique. Gigantic toads also began to appear, since Tsunade came out to help the villages out. This was a very hectic time, but both the teams took care of it pretty well, and not a lot of deaths were actually taken. They defeated Itachi even. After a bunch more time had actually passed by, the Cloud and Leaf were actually talking about what they would do after this phase is over. They were planning on charging into the hidden sand right at their very own doorsteps. Taking a look at the hidden sand village, they're all so very split. And these are the last moments they'll ever get in this place that's filled with true peace. Despite everything they've gone through, they've also had holders of the Sharingan, even sacrificed their own teammates to unlock the Manga Kyo Sharingan. This allowed them to use a powerful technique known as Susano. These deserts are going to be filled soon with blood and war. And without time to waste, this began phase four, the Great Ninja War. In this phase, the Cloud and the Leaf attacked the sand to become the two standing great nations, leading to close this chapter all behind them. The Cloud and the Leaf's alliance pull up to the gates of the sand and began to storm their village. All right, boys, we're about to storm the sand. All right? What? I'm not ready. We need to wait for the Cloud. Go easy! Yeah. Boys, let's move in. This is it. This is the final right, battle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Bridge. Yeah, okay, that's bridge. We got bridge. Where's where's go? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're storming. There he is. Okay. What are we doing? The leaf didn't know was that there was a sand shinobi waiting and eyeing down the front of the place. And now that he saw the army, he went to go alert the others. Without a second thought, the cloud and the leaf charge in right through the front gates. Oh, okay, let's just go together. Move in, men. Move in. Ah, not again, bro. These are so bad, those... Oh my oh! god! It was a trap! The San Shinobi were setting up a trap for Aweka, Zanes, and Mello. They wanted to eliminate all three of those threats right off the bat with this ability called Chirin. Holy... I was gonna you fuck this crater! I saw where is Sand? Yo, half our team just died! What? Alright. <laughs> right, you weren't left out of the park. Four sand are already killed, two leaf, three cloud. You also got Renegon, that's fun. Jesus. Eopoke is dead. Eopoke is dead. Ooh, oh my god. Wait, bro, where's Eok? Where's Eok? Uh, let me... Oh, shoot. Watch out, watch out. Eopoke died. Eok's dead? Holy. You see that? Let's go, baby. Thank you, guys. Watch out. No! No! You killed him! <laughs> Not too soon into the war, Zanes and Mello get hit with Charon. Same with Eopoke. Aweka was soon killed off as well. All the Hokage were dead. Ah! Aweka's dead. Zanes is dead. Oh my god. I killed Aweka. You killed Aweka? Yeah, I killed Aweka. Damn, bro. Every leader is dead. <laughs> Yo, the sand is holding up though. Jeez. Everyone's dead. Bro, I went for two seconds. Jesus. <laughs> oh, sh oh. Oh my god, these guys are doing so much help, bro. Ginny, on the other hand, somehow made it out alive. I think she's just kind of cruising. But it also meant that the war continued. Wait, Derp, I think I was dead. Yo, how you guys holding up? Because all the leaders are dead. You guys are still alive. Oh, for real? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> you still, you still chilling? I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. We gotta get him. We got him, Gina. This is only ready, three boy. people in sand. We'll come back here. The alliance worked. There was still a member of the sand that was still alive, known as Nendo. He was alive, and he was one of the only people there too. But just as he survived, the more and more people were up on him, trying to get him killed. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he's getting double teamed. Get him! Get him! Don't let him run! Don't let him run! Oh. Uh. Damn! 
Yo, I can never get a respective one on one, bro. I can never get a respective one on one. Yeah, it's a right. team game. Get that sword back. Get that sword back. Oh my god. Oh my Why god. Why is he a Why is he Oh my god. Nendo, no pressure, but you're the only hope for the sand right now, bro. Oh my god. Why can you attack that fast with those weapons, bro? Rushy, do it. Leaf, leaf. Alliance, alliance, alliance. Leaf, leaf, leaf. This is who remains of the Leaf and the Cloud Alliance. But the villages got very greedy and wanted to be the only village that survived in this great ninja war. So they ended up disbanding their alliance. The Leaf and Cloud were no longer allies. If you take a look at this, all that remained was Leaf versus Cloud. It was Fuego versus Stevo at the very end. Who will win the ninja war and take it home for their clan? Assassinate Fuego? I guess they don't like him. Dog, you don't take any damage. How am I supposed to win? Are you putting this out on purpose? Ah, Steve-O won. It was Steve-O who came out as the victor. After all the bloodshed had happened, the hidden cloud truly was the greater of all the three nations. If you want more civilizations just like this, check out the playlist.